Hello friends, from this video tutorial, we are going to start, start making small project like student attendance management system, in PHP script by using Ajax with jQuery, Bootstrap 4, Data Table Plugin and MySQL Database. In this part, we will see simple feature and functionality of this system, and from next video, we will see one by one coding part of this system. The main functionality of this system, is to manage student attendance data on web page, so here we will make web based student attendance management system, in PHP script. In this system, we have used PHP and MYSQL for server-side operation, and from client-side operation, we have used jQuery, Ajax, Bootstrap 4, Data Table Plugin and Date Picker Plugin. In this system, there are two main user of this system, one is admin, who is master user, and teacher whose account will be created by admin user. Now first we have seen admin user part, so for login admin account, in URL we have enter base URL slash admin, then admin login has been load on web page. So, in admin user name we have enter admin, and in password we have enter password, and press enter, after click on login button, page has been redirect to index page of admin area. So, on this page we can see, all student overall attendance data, this attendance data, will be add by all teacher, here admin can see all student data. Here admin can get the details of particular student attendance report by click on this report button, and here he define for which date he want to get attendance data. After selecting date, admin can get student attendance detail in PDF format, with attendance details. Here we can see other menu like, grade, teacher, student, attendance and logout link. So, first we have click on grade menu, then here we can see grade data, here admin can add new grade data, edit existing grade data and he can delete grade data. After this, we have click on teacher link, and here we can see teacher data on web page, here admin can add new teacher, after add teacher data, then teacher account has been created. After adding of teacher data, then that teacher can log in into system, by teacher login page, here admin can edit existing teacher data, and delete teacher data also. Admin can assign grade to teacher, so after login into system teacher can view student of that particular grade only for take attendance. Now we have click on student link, here we can see student data, admin can manage student data from here, and he can add new student data, edit existing data and delete student data. For see attendance data, admin can view by click on attendance link, and here admin can view all student attendance data at one place. Suppose, admin want to get attendance report of particular grade, so he can click on report button, then modal has pop up, and here can select grade and select from date and to date, and click on create report button. 
After click on report button, then admin can get attendance data in PDF format of particular grade for defined date, so this is admin area, now we have login into teacher login. For this first we have log out from this admin area, and after this remove admin from URL, so here we can see teacher login area. So, in email address field, we have enter johnsmith.gmail.com, and in password we have enter password, and click on login button. After click on login button, page has been redirect to index page, and here we can view overall student attendance data in percentage format, here teacher can view only those student data, which grade assigned by admin, other grade student data he cannot view. So, suppose teacher want to get attendance report of particular student, so he can click on report button, and select from data and to data, then he can get attendance report in PDF format. Here teacher can update his profile details, also from this profile page, here can also change password and email address details also, he or she can change profile picture also. For take attendance, teacher has to click on attendance link, then he can view his grade student attendance data on web page, for new attendance he has to click on add button. After click on add button, teacher can view this modal, and under this he can see his assigned grade name, teacher has to select attendance date, and here can he can see student list of his assigned grade, with two option like present and absent. So, teacher can select respected option for each student, and click on add button, then attendance data has been stored under database, teacher cannot do attendance of same date again. Teacher can also can get attendance report of all student, by click on report button, when he have click on report button, then modal pop up on web page. By selecting from date and to date, and click create report button, then he can get attendance report of student in PDF format, so this is overall introduction of the system. This is database structure of the system. Here we have divided this tutorial, under following module, and this module we will discuss, in this order one by one, so we will publish the system video tutorial in this order. From next part we will start, we will start first module, admin login module. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.